This just released from the Social Security Administration. It is the 2023 fact sheet breaking down all of the distributions for everybody receiving Social Security. So if you've been paying into this your entire life and now you're being told they're not going to have enough funds, wait till you see the fact sheet. This is going to be breaking down retired workers and their dependents, disabled workers and their dependents, survivors, and you're going to see the numbers and the projections for 2023. And this is being backed by, take a look at this, the CBO numbers, Congressional Budget Office released back in December of 2022. And yeah, the projections are showing that things are not looking good for Social Security. And that is why right now, take a look, Senator Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, they proposed the Social Security Expansion Act of 2023. I covered it in detail for you in a previous video as they want to increase benefits for recipients across the board by $200 per month or $2,400 for the entire year. They want to expand the benefits, extend the solvency, change the way that the COLA is calculated by increasing the taxation. So a lot of proposals there, uh, and that is just one of several right now. But take a look, just a couple days ago, we heard that the White House, they are eyeing that bill from Bernie Sanders, taking it into consideration. They've got to do something quick, because wait till you see the numbers. And if that makes you feel like your hair's gonna fall out, well, I've got a sponsor today that will be able to help you out with that, but that's later on in the video. And also, if you collect SSI, I've let you know that in the month of March for 2023, you're gonna be receiving two payments, and that is due to the distribution calendar scheduling. And I've covered this extensively in previous videos, but just in case you missed it, I'll also recap today, so that way you can know what to expect if you collect SSI. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. But before we do, if you appreciate the update, do me a quick favor smash the like button just takes a second helps me out a ton thank you so much and if you want to stay up to date it's totally free why not just hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell i'll keep you up to speed on everything available for you and your family let you know what's taking place and i cite all the sources put it on the screen link them in the description so that way you know it's the latest coming out right now but with that being said you guys let's take a look at this fact sheet just released from the social security administration for what you can expect for 2023. All right, so let's take a look at this fact sheet that came out from the Social Security Administration, and it says in 2023, an average of almost 67 million Americans per month will receive a Social Security benefit, totaling over a trillion dollars in benefits paid out throughout the year. Now, here's a snapshot for just the month of December of 2022 alone. It says that for retired workers, those of you collecting retired benefits, there was 48.6 million and that's 88.7 billion in distributions with an average monthly payout of $1,825. And dependents, there's 2.7 million for retired workers as well and that's 2.4 billion in payouts. There's also disability, SSDI, disabled workers, 7.6 million in the United States. That's 11.3 billion in payouts with average payout of $1,483 and their dependents, 1.2 million. That's about $600 million in distributions as well. And survivors, 5.9 million. That's 8.5 billion in distributions. And there you can see that just for the month of December of 2022 alone, we had well over a hundred billion dollars in distributions. And that's why we're having to distribute out over a trillion dollars every single year. And we're hearing that the gap is going to get even bigger, that the amount is going to grow because the amount being poured in is actually less and less. And you're going to see here that the ratio of distributions to workers pouring in is getting smaller and smaller. We've got less people putting in, more people taking out. Now, if that stresses you out, take a look at this. Is there more hair in your sink than on your head? Hair loss? Hard pass. Now, don't get me wrong, the world is full of handsome bald heads, but that does not have to be you if it's not your style. You can stop and even reverse the effects of balding, but you have to have the right treatments. Do something about it with Roman. Roman will help you fight back against thinning hair. Get science-backed, FDA-approved treatments that are proven to help slow or stop hair loss, and in some cases, even help regrow hair. Now, no need to wait in line at the pharmacy or drive to your doctor's office. You can do everything that you need from your phone right now. You'll get fast, free shipping as well, indiscreet packaging. So go get your confidence today. Go to ro.co forward slash Steve Ram, and you'll also get your first month of treatments 
totally free. I've got a link for you in the description below. And again, thanks to today's video sponsor. I hope it's a blessing to those of you that are interested. And I know I've had several viewers let me know that uh, I got to do something here myself. So let's get back to the fact sheet, though, for the Social Security Administration. Social Security is the major source of income for most of the elderly. Nearly 9 out of 10 people ages 65 and older were receiving Social Security benefits as of December 31st of 2022. So only about 10% of the population is holding out for those max benefits from Social Security, which is more and more reason why there's a pull for the benefits because people aren't waiting. They're saying, I need this money now. Social Security benefits represent about 30% of the income of the elderly. So about a third of all of their income is dependent on Social Security. Among elderly Social Security beneficiaries, 37% are men, 42% are women that receive 50% or more of their income from Social Security, 12% are men, 15% are women that rely on Social Security as 90% or more of their income. So there's a lot of people that rely solely on these benefits. Now, Social Security provides more than just retirement benefits as well. Retired workers and their dependents account for about 76%, 77% of the total benefits paid in 2022, but there's also disability. Disabled workers and their dependents account for 11.6% of the total benefits paid in 2022. And survivors, survivors of the deceased workers account for 11.5% of the total benefits paid in 2022. More than one in eight of today's 20-year-olds will die before reaching age 67. Now, an estimated 183 million workers will work in OASDI covered employment in 2023. So people pouring into the benefits. Now, here's some facts to note. In 1940, the life expectancy of a 65-year-old was almost 14 years, so they can expect to make it to 79. Now it's 20 years, so people are living longer, so payments are going to have to go on even further. The number of Americans 65 and older will increase from about 58 million in 2022 to 76 million in the year 2035, so millions and millions of more people are going to be pulling from these funds. And in 2022, there was an estimated 2.8, so almost three workers per each Social Security beneficiary, so three workers for one recipient, well now that's dropped down to 2.3 workers or almost two workers for one recipient. So not only are more people pulling from these funds, but there's less people starting to pour in. Now this fact sheet aligns directly with what we heard from the Congressional Budget Office or the CBO report back in December of 2022. Let's take a look at this visual that really helps you break it down. As so we have the revenues pouring in as a percentage of the GDP for the nation and also the outlays that are scheduled to go out to all recipients. And you can see the green line back before 2000, the revenues pouring in was about 5% roughly of the GDP. And you can see that by 2090, it's projected to still be above 4%, around 4 or 5%. So we are having less and less people pouring in, but it's going to stay roughly about the same. Now, where the big change is coming is take a look at the blue line, and that is the revenues pouring out that are being distributed to recipients. Back in 2000, it was about 4%, but by 2090, it's going to be up close to 7%, which just simply means that this generation that has been pouring in their entire life. They're now retiring and they need to pull out and uh, there's just simply not enough funds to be distributed to all the people that are going to be receiving it all at the same time. So change is needed. And that is why we've got all these proposals coming out from Bernie Sanders, from Rick Scott. And there's all this discussion in the State of the Union address because this transition is going to be happening soon, very soon, and something needs to be done because there's a lot of people that they need to get their money. Now, speaking of that, I'll let you know about the distribution calendar for SSI, and things are going to be switched up a little bit coming up in March of 2023. You're going to get your first payment on March 1st, you can see right here, but then also you're going to get a second payment March 31st. Now, everybody else that collects, you're going to get it on the same Wednesday payment schedule that you normally do, the 8th, the 15th, and the 22nd. But you can see that in April, there is no payment. And that is because you're going to receive that April payment early on the 31st. And as you guys know, I covered this 
in detail and the reasons why in a previous video. And also, I covered for you in detail the new bill that was released from Bernie Sanders with that proposal for an additional $200 per month. Now, to get more information on that, check out this video right here as I cover it in detail for you and let you know everything that we can expect to see uh, and what might come out for Social Security reform. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. That is the latest on the fact sheet coming out from Social Security. If you appreciate the updates, don't forget, smash the like button, subscribe to stay up to date, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.